Hello and welcome. Hey! Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. Today, we're gonna be doing how to sound like Sofago, who I've never heard before, and the song Knock Knock. I've always seen the recommendations in my comments. Saw Cole Bennett made a video with him. I liked how it sounded. And then I did it here. With that being said, before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe and subscribe to the notification bell as well. So you never miss a video that I post. Also, make sure to check out my description down below. A lot of things down like preset packs, all my equipment, my music, social media, a support link for the preset packs, and a DistroKid link to get 5% off your sign up. I don't truly know if that link still works. Anyway, uh, so Fago, knock knock, let's get in the video. So this is my project screen. This beat is reproduced by Kid Rolex. So thank you so much. This is his channel right here. But the original beat was in by Lil Tekka. Uh, so it will be copyrighted probably. We have a lead and then a punch, which is no different except for one little thing. And I'll show you guys that. I haven't listened to the song too much. With that being said, let's re record it right now. I don't know how the song really even goes. <laughs> Well, if you like how that sounded, this is how you get it. This is the lead. What I'm going to do now is create a new audio track that is blank. I'm going to call this one, uh, Ooga. What we're going to do is uh, just carry everything over from uh, left to right, because that's what this is. I've been eating a lot of broccoli. I think I just <laughs> so. First off, we have pitch correction. Pitch correction, which is found in pitch, pitch correction, mono. We're looking at a F sharp natural minor scale. Now, it could be anything for you, but I found this to work for me. My main thing for vocals is to switch between natural minor and major scale and check every root until you sound good. Our response time's at zero. We want that whole effect. So with just a pitch correction. We're looking at something like this. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? Okay, turn that off because it's delayed and I can't hear myself. Next is the channel EQ. With this vocal, it sounded like there was not a lot of low, but a ton of high end. It was very crispy. EQ, channel EQ, mono. I did the EQs a lot differently in this one than I have done in any other one, but it worked out. So when you're inside of it, you basically take the red to about 120. Simple low cut. Take the orange, make a small shelf at 200. And then we get a little funky here. So we take this yellow and we're going to take it to 500 and raise it plus six. I usually take away from 500 because it sucks, but I'm gonna add the mid area then take it away later. So we're doing that. But with this green, we take that to 500, click the dot to make it thin at 14. You can change it like that. And then drag it minus eight. Now, did that really do too much? I don't know, but it's there. This purple, take it to 2K, lift it up, and then cut it off with this pink, 16,000. And now we'll play it with the first EQ and pitch correction. Knock, knock, who's there? Ow. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? <laughs> All right, next we got a compressor. All of my chains look very similar with the double compressor action. So the first compressor, which is Dynamics Compressor Mono. We're going with the Studio FET, a little harsher sounding. Ratio 6.3 to 1, a threshold of negative 30. We're making this kind of big. Make it above 3. Auto gain off, make sure it's not on auto. Attack is 92, so not fast. And then release at 27, so kind of fast. Distortion's on hard. I'm hard. And then close it. Before we play it, we'll add the second compressor right here. It's lighter. Dynamics Compressor Mono. <laughs> This one is my favorite Studio VCA, it's red. Ratio of 3.5 to 1, smaller ratio. Negative 16 on the threshold. The makeup's at zero. On again's off, this is off again. Release at 100, attack at 41. So I'm not going with that super harsh, fast attack or release this time. And then nothing else here, and we close it. So with the compressors, pitch correction and channel EQ. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? It's me, and I'm here to sell you keeps hair product for men. I take it because I'm afraid my hairline's going away. I'm not endorsing it. Uh, although it could give you erectile dysfunction, and I'm not going to tell you if that's true. Next, we got a multi-presser, which is a multi-band compressor, and I've learned this a little more. Dynamics, multi-presser, mono. What we got here is first I want you to space these out. Click the rectangles and type in what I got, and then at three and four, there's the most change here. 2.5 for the four, and then four for the three, and then negative 0.5 for the two, and then that's that. But most importantly, with the three and four, we changed the thresholds, and not the ratio, but the thresholds. Because the way I did it in the master one, I did it here. I just took the threshold bar thing right here and dragged it down. And then negative 33, negative 26. And then if it's peaking in the out section, just lower it. Or raise it. Raise it. Close it. And this is what it sounds like with that. Knock, knock. Who's there at the door right now? And next is a graphic EQ. EQ, vintage collection, graphic, mono. I use this in the mastering one too, but I like it. So this is what's going on with this. So we're looking at a smooth output model with a drive of 5.5. And then we wanted to raise the high even more. So 2.4 here. 
here. 1.5 of the AK. 2K, we raised it 3 dB, basically. In the 1K area, we raised 3 as well. Did a lot of raising. And then at 500, this is where we drop at negative 2, because we raised it in the beginning. And as well as here, we drop at negative 2 at 250. And that is that. Close it, and it's super crisp. And this is what it sounds like. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? This could sound bad, and I just don't notice it, but I really like this right now, okay? You hear me? Next, we have another channel EQ. Now, what does this one do? Let's find out. EQ, channel EQ, mono, within this one. We're gonna be looking at a raise in the mid area again. So we're taking this green guy at about 300 and raising him plus one. And then we're gonna take this blue and turn it off. And then we're gonna take this other green, take it to about 3K, 3100, and raise plus three. Then we take this purple to about 5500, raise it plus 2.3, and then cut it off again at the end. Okay, so we're raising the high and the mid again and cutting off the end so it's not too crazy. There's a lot of high end here. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? Now, next we have an exciter. Exciting. Uh, this also raises it to be even more crispy. It's getting over the top. Specialized exciter mono. All we did in here was take it to 11200 hertz and then 76.9 harmonics with color one. Finally, we have a silver verb, just some nice reverb to plaster it into the mix. Reverb, silver verb, mono stereo. Click it. We did the hall preset right here. And then 270 low, 5000 high, 40% reflectivity, 110 size. This didn't change. 100 dry, 16 wet. And close it. Now. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? Now. Now we move on to the backup punch thing. And how we do that is like this. You're gonna wanna hit Command D on this beautiful new track you made. Now, what I'm gonna do here is make it quieter. Now we go into the first channel EQ, and we're gonna change it like this. You go into the first channel EQ, and I want you to grab the red and just drag it to 500, and then everything else just makes itself at home. And then we remove the silver verb, and add a sample delay. Delay, sample delay, mono stereo, click it, and 537 left, or right. And now it's a little wider. And it sounds like this. Quiet wrap around your head. And we drag it up, and all together, it sounds like this. Knock, knock, who's there at the door right now? They like, if you don't open that hole, we gon' kick it down. I had to grab my fire. I told him to step inside. But when I came around that corner, that boy almost cried. Well, that sounded okay. Now that we did that, and you learned it, hopefully you did, now we're just gonna freestyle and have a good time. This beat is kinda complicated, and we'll see if I can do anything with it. Here we go. I'll do the guitar vocal first, cause... I sound like a guy who's singing in a church I sound like a guy who's sitting on a perch My mustache looks I'm kinda old But I never wanna be cold And I sit in the back with a nice mold And I got a nice fold on my shirt And I got a nice fold on my shirt, no damn Oh, 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 part of that That beat was so cold This beat is so cold I wanna go crash bandicoot, I wanna get with you I wanna lick on you, wanna take it to a movie Take it to a movie, show me your boobies I wanna look at you from the backyard and then groovy I'm getting groovy on the dance floor And I'm getting groovy with a nice whore And you tell me I'll get more That's what I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that video was one time as well And if you didn't, bruh Like I said before, subscribe if you already subscribed Drop a like in the video, leave a comment down below Tell me what you think, what I should do next The description is chocked full of sweet things, go ahead and check that out Anyway, this is been a crowd how to sound like Sofago in the song Knock Knock He's the only stock plug-in in Logic Pro 10 And like always, thank you, we out